In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the parseInt method and why you should be using that if ever you need it. So this is a JavaScript tutorial for beginners and we're going to use one of these uh, parseInt methods in JavaScript. And basically parseInt is focused on creating a number or getting or extracting the number out of a certain variable. So let's start and explore, but before that, let me tell you something. If you want to learn about charges, check out my Udemy course, where you can find the link in the description box. All right, so let's start and look here. So we have here parse int, or we have, uh, well, basically we have nothing. This is a blank HTML uh, template, and we're going to work with this uh, HTML file. And in here, we're going to create a variable or a constant, and this constant is called sales. And the sales constant is $100.99. There it is. So if I do now a console.log, you will see I will get the variable of sales and display it in the developer tag messenger. So if I save this and I open up here my HTML file or our template, open up the developer tab, you can see now we get a console log, we get a message of $199. Cents. So $100.99, that's fine. So what happens if you do parse in? So parse in is designed specifically to extract the numbers, but only the numbers before the decimal. So everything after the decimal will be excluded, or even if there's some text in it, it will remove the text from it. So let's start and explore this. So let's say our sales, now we can put in parse in. So how to do that? Basically we say parse, oh, not in capitalized letters, but parse int and then we put it we put the variable in there basically this is what we need to do so let's get this out put it in here and if we save this now you can see now our parse int has been it trims away the decimals to 100 and that's basically what parse int does but it also helps you, for example, you have another one. Let's say we have another constant, and this is years. And somehow, someone put in five years in here, which is a string value, of course. And if we now change this to years, let's save it, you will see now what happens. Now, chart, well, sorry, JavaScript is so familiar and understands exactly what's going on here and says all right you want probably only the number out of the five years which is number five and then it removes everything else however this is a very important one what happened if you change this into years five or maybe this years five was not year five sounds more more logical and let's change that as well year five refresh and now oh let me refresh one more time because it doesn't load something which is not really important, but doesn't matter. Now you get the NAN. NAN stands for NAN or NAN, so it's not a number, basically. That's what it says. So JavaScript understands now, says, oh, sorry, we cannot extract the number out of this because there is no number. And the reason why there is no number, because you will say, well, wait a minute, if I, I see the number five here and if I put it here in the front, it worked. Why? Because parse int only understands if the value is at the front. If the value is at the back, it doesn't work. So let's say here, what happened if we have 500 and then here 1000? What will it get then? Let's save this and then here refresh. Now you can see it will only get the first value of 500. After that, after the space, it will ignore everything, whatever we have here at the back, as you can see. So what happened if we put this all together, we save this, then refresh, you'll see here as well, it will still be able to identify the number digits. And after that, if it sees all the all the text here, it does not work. So what happened if we put in a zero in front of it? So it should show here again 500. So let's save this, refresh, and there you are. JavaScript or the parse int method is intelligent enough to figure out that 0, 05 equals or 0, 0, 0500 equals 500 basically. So it understands this. And the reason why it understands this is it understands that this is a number. So it will trim away this one as well to 
because if it would be a string, it will get everything here. So this is very important. All right, so maybe you're saying, well, this is nice, but I want to get this one here. Uh, I want to have basically the floating number. So we have here parse float, because int stands for integer, and integer basically means full numbers only. So only complete digits, no decimals included. Float is the other one, which is very important, especially if you're working with financial matters. Float is the one you probably will need, because float or parse float parse float will give you the number including the decimal digits so if I say here and I say here let's make this again a string so this is a string and this string will be ABC so let's get this here replace this here and there you are we save this and we can remove this one now now you can see here we get still 199 and the ABC has been trimmed away because it understands it and if you do this here point zero zero nine let's say here year save this refresh and now you can see still it says five hundred point zero 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 nine and that's how you can use the parse int method and the parse float method to extract numbers from a string so if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this or anything else about Chart.js, or sorry, not only about Chart.js, but also by, about JavaScript, put them in the comment section below.